18 people are now looking for a new place to live after a fire rips through an attic of an Escondido apartment building. I spoke to one woman who says she's thankful to be alive as she's figuring out her next steps forward. You see where that screen is on the ground? Where that window's boarded up right there? That's our unit. Two pieces of plywood cover the windows of Florence Walker and her daughter's apartment. But they don't block out what happened on Wednesday morning on East Grand Avenue in Escondido, which started with a smoke alarm going off. So I'm thinking to myself, OK, open up the windows, you know, turn on the vent, do put a fan on, you know, air out the apartment because I'm thinking somebody's cooking. She wouldn't be smelling someone's home cooking not too long after that, hearing a man shouting warnings. And he's telling everybody, get out, get out, there's a fire. And I said, fire? And by the time he got to my door, I'm like, sniffing and all of a sudden I smelt the wood burning. The Escondido Fire Department tells 10 News the call for the fire came in just after 10 a.m. I immediately, the only thing that went to my brain was dog. Walker also grabbing her pouch that had her wallet, ID and house keys then got outside. That's when I could see all the smoke was billowing out of the upper upstairs apartment. Even this one right here, the one on the end, has smoke billowing out. And I'm like, OMG, we are on fire. Crews found the fire in the attic of the building. Escondido FD says in total, 18 people, three dogs, three cats, and one snake are displaced, with all of the units in the building being uninhabitable at this time. One person had actually just moved in, like about two weeks ago, and this was his first apartment. So, you know, it's quite disheartening. With the cause still being looked into, the department tells me the property manager and the Red Cross have helped the residents find housing. Red Cross says it's provided financial assistance and has caseworkers already doing follow-up work helping those impacted by the fire. I got up this morning and I said, you know what, I, I, I said yesterday with everything that happened, I said, well, thank you, Jesus, that could have been my life. Ryan Hill, ABC 10 News.